Have you ever wondered what the end of the world might look like according to religious texts? This is the question that propels our exploration today as we delve into the intriguing concept of end times prophecy. This ancient belief, woven into the fabric of many religions, seeks to unravel the mysteries of our world's final chapters. It's an idea that stirs universal curiosity, the notion of knowing what might happen at the end of the world. And it's not just about the apocalypse, fire and brimstone. It's about the profound transformations, the epic battles between good and evil, and the ultimate fate of humanity. Through the lens of religion we find a spectrum of interpretations, each offering a unique perspective on the end of days. The intrigue lies not in the fear of the end, but in the journey towards understanding these prophecies. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of end times prophecy. End times prophecies have been around for centuries, but where did they originate? The origins of end times prophecies can be traced back to ancient religious texts. These texts, written thousands of years ago, hold some of the earliest known predictions about the ultimate fate of the world. From the Hebrew Scriptures to the Christian Bible, from the Quran to the Hindu Puranas, numerous religious traditions have woven tales of the world's end into the fabric of their belief systems. These prophecies serve as a window into the past, providing us with insight into the hopes and fears of our ancestors. They reveal a deep-seated human fascination with the unknown, a desire to make sense of the world's mysteries, and a yearning to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. In the ancient world, these prophecies were not just idle speculation. They were a source of comfort and guidance, offering a sense of certainty in an uncertain world. They offered a way to explain natural disasters, societal upheaval, and personal suffering. They promised that, no matter how chaotic or frightening the world might seem, there was a divine plan at work, a cosmic order that would ultimately prevail. Over the centuries, these prophecies have continued to captivate the human imagination. They've been interpreted and reinterpreted, debated and dissected, embraced and feared. They've fueled countless sermons, inspired countless works of art, and stirred countless debates. They've been used to justify wars, to instill hope, to foster unity, and to sow discord. Even today, in an age of science and skepticism, these ancient prophecies continue to resonate. They tap into our deepest fears and our highest hopes, stirring up powerful emotions and sparking spirited debates. They remind us of our mortality, challenge our complacency, and inspire us to strive for a better world. As we can see, the concept of the end times has been a part of human consciousness for a very long time. Whether viewed with fear or fascination, with skepticism or faith, these prophecies continue to exert a powerful influence on our collective imagination. They serve as a stark reminder of our past, a provocative challenge to our present, and a compelling vision of our future. So what themes do these prophecies tend to cover? Well, let's delve into the heart of these enigmatic prophecies, shall we? Firstly, one of the most common themes is cataclysmic events. This isn't a surprise, really. Prophecies often depict the world in turmoil, earthquakes shaking the Earth's core, famine spreading like wildfire, and wars tearing nations apart. They're not your typical sunny Sunday afternoon, are they? But these catastrophic events are not just to scare us. They are a stark reminder of the potential consequences of our actions, and they urge us to reconsider our path. Then, we have the theme of divine judgment. This is where the man upstairs, or whatever divine entity you believe in, steps in to evaluate humanity. It's like a celestial performance review, if you will. The idea is that our actions, our choices, our very lives are under scrutiny. And based on this evaluation, there will be rewards for those who have done well, and penalties for those who haven't. It's a bit like a teacher grading our collective homework, isn't it? Lastly, the theme that perhaps hits closest to home is the ultimate fate of humanity. What's going to happen to us? Will we triumph over adversity, or will we crumble and fall? Will we build a utopia or descend into dystopia? These prophecies don't just predict the future, they force us to ask ourselves these very questions. They make us ponder on the kind of world we want to leave behind for future generations. But remember, 
These prophecies are not just about doom and gloom. They also carry a profound moral and ethical message. They compel us to reflect on our actions, to reassess our values, and to strive for a better, more compassionate world. They remind us that we are the authors of our own destiny, and that our choices today will shape the world of tomorrow. So, in essence, these themes serve as a mirror to our deepest fears and hopes about the future of our world. They challenge us to confront these fears and to turn our hopes into reality. They push us to be better, to do better. And that, my friends, is the true power of prophecy. Now, how do different cultures and religions interpret these prophecies? Let's dive right in. It's like walking through a vast global library, each book representing a culture or religion, each page within a unique interpretation of the end times. It's a beautiful tapestry of beliefs woven with threads of diverse interpretations. In the heartland of the East, Buddhism speaks of the future Buddha Maitreya, who will appear at a time when the Dharma will be forgotten on earth. This will usher in a new era of enlightenment, a kind of spiritual end times. Hinduism, on the other hand, talks about the Kali Yuga, the last of the four stages the world goes through, as part of a cycle of yugas. It's believed to be a period of darkness and ignorance, but also the precursor to a new golden age. Turn the pages to the Abrahamic faiths and we find a shared belief in a day of judgment. Yet even within these faiths, interpretations vary. Christianity preaches about the second coming of Christ, the rapture, and the final judgment. Islam too shares the belief in a final judgment, but also speaks of the Mahdi, the guided one, who will rid the world of evil before the day of resurrection. Judaism has a more metaphorical interpretation, it talks of the Olam Haba, or the world to come, implying a new era of peace and understanding, rather than a literal end of the world. And then there are indigenous cultures across the globe, each with their own unique end times narratives, often tied to the natural world and cosmic events. It's important to remember that these interpretations are not simply about doom and gloom. They often carry profound messages about morality, life, death, and ultimately renewal. So, while the prophecies may differ, a common thread of hope for a better world, a new beginning after an end, runs through them all. It's fascinating to see how different cultures and religions have their unique take on the end times. So, what impact do these prophecies have on our lives today? Well, the influence of end times prophecies is far-reaching, shaping our society in ways we often overlook. Consider popular culture, from blockbuster movies to best-selling novels, end times narratives have penetrated the mainstream, captivating audiences with tales of apocalypse and redemption. They tap into our collective curiosity, our fears, and our hopes for the future. In the realm of politics, these prophecies can also hold sway. Leaders may use them to rally support, to justify policies, or to frame global events. The threads of prophecy weave through the fabric of political discourse, subtly shaping perspectives. On a personal level, these prophecies can guide beliefs and behaviors. They may offer a sense of purpose, a roadmap to navigate uncertain times. They can inspire, challenge, or comfort, depending on one's perspective. Indeed, the influence of end times prophecies continues to resonate in our world today. Their impact, like the prophecies themselves, is complex and enduring. 